If you look deeply inside yourself, Carl Rahner had this idea way back when, um, you're going to see that the only thing that will ultimately underline, satisfy you is eternity, infinity, or the unrestricted, we might call it, that mysterious spiritual transcendentness that will, uh, you know, partially do it. Perfect truth, perfect love, perfect beauty, perfect being or home, perfect goodness that will also do it. So all these things are converging together. So, you know, when you say, well, what is it that will make us ultimately happy since God, as it said, it doesn't say, made us for himself, right? What is it that will make us ultimately happy? Well, it's going to be um, all of those things rolled up into one. What really would make me happy is an infinite or unrestricted, eternal being that is perfectly true, good, loving, beautiful, and and uh, being or home, and at the same time is the most perfect manifestation of interrelational love that one could ever desire. It's like not just mother and father square, but mother and father to almost the infinite um, exponent. So what you're... Uh, what you're dealing with is that's what God made you for. Only he can satisfy you ultimately. Of course, we get sparks and glimmers and even real lasting presences of that sort of being in all the people, the transcendent spiritual people who surround us, right? We were made in the image and likeness of God. And so when you uh, look at that, you can see that, yes, I get, get around friends and the empathy can be so strong you know, I would call it spiritual and almost mystical in a group of unselfish people, not motivated by a lot of ego concerns, you know, and they're all sitting there at the table and it's like family and we don't have to prove to everybody that we're better than everybody. The main thing is, is if you are on that table and you really have an unselfish group of people that are reflective of the non-egotistical love of God, have you ever noticed that people look at their watch at three o'clock in the morning and go, whoa, it's three o'clock in the morning. Where'd the time go? Well, well, it was lost in the joy of an unselfish love. 